smile for the camera, honey. Very professional. I'm practicing. <laughs> Are we set? Yep. Just got off the phone with Mr. Lyle Wedgwood Esquire. We are all confirmed for lunch at the Valley Inn. Well, what kind of, um, sort of subtle subterfuge did you use to get him to slip into our trap? I offered to buy him lunch at the Valley Inn. Lunch? Oh, I get it. D did he sound like the kind of lawyer who would, you know, sell babies to the highest bidder? No, actually. Not a hint of scum. Do you think this guy will lead us to... Whoever has Ray's daughter? I don't know, sweetheart. It was a long time ago. But there's hope, right? Why? You getting nervous? No. I'm not nervous. I just... I'm, I'm, ner I'm nervous for Ray. Mostly. I mean, she's playing it cool, but obviously this means a lot to her, you know? She's going to be really disappointed if we, if, if we don't find anything. Yeah, no. I'm afraid she's going to feel like she lost her child all over again if we hit a brick wall. Well, if we're going to nail this guy, we better get it in gear. Ah. Here we are. Oh, gee. One of your favorites? It was a gift from Opal. <laughs> Sacrifice for a worthy cause. I guess so. Well, here goes nothing. Ooh. Mm, perfect. Mm. Great. Ah, wait a minute. What? Uh, it's all right. Come on in. You gonna let me in on this joke? <laughs> it's a purse cam. We're gonna use it to tape Wedgwood. Really? Well, I hope you're gonna be a little more subtle about it. Absolutely. Dixie's gonna operate the purse. Well, uh, honey, I'm, I'm, you know I'm not that good at focusing. Yes, you are, sweetheart. I keep telling you, this is the ultimate in point and shoot, okay? And it holds your lipstick. Oh, that's... No, 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 I'm serious. Think about it. All you got to do is at the right time, you check your makeup, right? Yeah. Then you put the compact back in your purse. You press the button. Just make sure the purse is pointed away to it. That's it. Tad. Yeah, I, listen, I got something for you, too. <sighs> I, I can still hear. Hardy har har. It's a present from Adrian. Apparently, you put this in here, you'll be able to hear the guy sweat. Great. 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 What is it, Ray? Look. I really appreciate your enthusiasm. I, I really do. I just wonder if you know what you're getting yourself into. We know how much this means to you. It could be very dangerous to Honey, we accept the risk. You know, if, if you wanted to back out of this whole thing, I would certainly understand. I mean, there are other ways that we can get this story. It's a lot more than a story for all of us. John Sykes said this guy is connected to the mob. My God, if anything happened to you, like what, what, honey? We're meeting for lunch at the Valley Inn. What's you gonna do, huh? Pull out a butter knife and spread me to death? He sells babies for profit. He's capable of anything, believe me. And if he feels threatened in any way... We'll try to be ready for anything. But we are gonna go through with this. Hey, am I interrupting? Hey, buddy. No, it's cool. I suppose you want her. Hey, Kurt. Okay, oh, you want her. Her. Hi. Have you seen Liza? No, not this morning. Well, we arranged for me to drop Colby. She was supposed to be here, but she's a no show, so I guess I'm going to have to take her back. <laughs> oh, no, no, but wait a minute. What? No, no, no. I got an idea. Why don't you just hang out? Wait here for a while. I mean, we're, we're about to take off, but uh, I know Liza's due in. After all, Haley's new show starts today. Uh, all right. We'll hang for a little Good. bit. Good. Okay. All right. Come on, guys. Time to get this show on the road. Oh, to go. Bye. Bye, 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 Yes, absolutely. All right, okay, let's okay. Just take a deep breath. Okay, okay. Just... oh, Myrtle. Hi, I'm everybody. I'm so glad you could join me. Oh. Wait, what are you talking about, a lunch date? Is that a good idea? Well, I thought it would look more natural if I was having lunch with a friend. Tad, Tad, I am one of the team, and I want to see that low life in jail. All right, all right, all right. <laughs> You're one of the team. Now, can we please sit down before yes, he walks yes. in and finds okay, us talking okay. again? All right, all right. <clears throat> would you please be careful? Oh, thank you very much. Uh, did a Lyle Wedgwood come in yet? No, sir. Okay. 
This is a little gift from Tad. It's so I don't miss a word. Well, what if you hear what you don't hope to hear? I'm an optimist. Do you realize that this could be the day that I finally get a clue about about Daniel or or even my daughter? Oh. If it comes to nothing. Then I'm just gonna keep trying. Listen. I'm not going to fall apart, I promise. Oh, darling, you have invested so much of your heart into this, and I just hate to see your hope slipped under the carpet again. Well, if this is a dead end, I mean, the story could certainly help a lot of people. Hey, come on, don't worry about me. I'm a tough broad. Yeah, I know that. Oh, honey, it's not a centerpiece. Party har har. I'm just making sure he's in the shot. My husband, the auteur. Move the wine glasses in frame. Mr. Martin? Yes. Oh, excuse me. How did you, uh, how did you know? Our phone conversation. You said you'd be the rakishly charming gentleman with a beautiful oh. blonde, and you did not lie. How do you do, Mr. Martin? How do you do? Nice to meet nice you. Nice to meet you. Won't you please sit down? Thank you, I will. But no. Not, not there. Is there a problem? Uh, no, um, sir, no problem. I'm sorry, it's a little embarrassing. I, uh, I'm a little hard of hearing in my right ear, and if you don't mind, I'd be much more comfortable if you'd sit in this chair. Oh, of course. Thank you. Not at all. <clears throat> well, thank you so much for uh, agreeing to meet with us on such short notice. Oh, don't mention it. Your husband uh, was so urgent and slightly mysterious on the phone. I just had to satisfy my curiosity. You will uh, di both, Dixie, and I'm very eager to uh, uh, to eat. I hope. <laughs> you know, the chef is a friend of mine here. The winter menu here rivals anything in France. Don't you agree? Absolutely. Um, uh, Mr. Wedgwood, I'd like to... Um... Oh, oh, veal in black truffle sauce. Can you believe they actually train pigs to find truffles? <laughs> and it's a very short season. We're very, very lucky. Yes, we are very lucky. Especially if, if you can help us. May I take your order? Oh, yes. Now, the drinks are on me, please. What do you have, Mrs. Martin? Well, thank you. Um, I'll have a glass of Chardonnay. Oh, no. Oh, oh no. Uh, cranberry juice. Excellent choice. <sighs> And you, Mr. Martin? I'll have the same. Now, for me, I'll have, um, I'll have a glass of this Cabernet, unless you're hiding a bottle from the Vineyards Reserve. <laughs> I think he's more interested in the menu than he is now. Darling, they're just settling down. You don't suppose he's on to them, do you? If anyone can make that worm turn, it's dead. Maybe. Oh, uh, ah, thank you. Uh, Mr. Whitewood, uh, Dixie mm -hmm. and I... Superb. Mm. White tannins. Just a faint hint of black cherry. You really should try some of this. As much as I'd like to join you, I can't discuss the finer points of California wine right now. Oh, why is that, Mr. Martin? Because my wife and I would like very much to have a child. And it's impossible for us to have one on our own. Oh. Oh, I'm so sorry. Is it, is it your health? No, my health is fine. And actually, I just can't have a baby. Ah. Oh, female issues. Exactly. But I want more than anything to have a baby with Dad. A, a baby girl. Yeah, with exactly Ted. like Dixie. With Ted. Ted's charm. Uh, <laughs> yes. Will you help us? Well, you certainly know what you want. And what it takes to get it. Well, as a devotee in the finer things of life, I learned that the more unique the item, the more expensive it tends to be. What's happening? I think he's gonna bite. What? You understand, money isn't an issue. You're a very lovely couple, and you're both very sincere, and I wish you the best 
in your search. But you are the best. That's why we contacted you. Please, you have to help us. Now, please, Mrs. Martin, you must get desperate. Well, I am desperate. We are desperate. It's important to you? Yes. It's more important than anything in the world. We'll pay whatever is necessary for a child. And for your discretion. I see. You can be discreet. You, uh, you want to keep this private, hmm? Barry. Just between us. No further than this table. Well, if that's true, why are you videotaping me?